हेलो एवरी वन जस्ट वी हेव सीन द थेरी और डिस्कस द थेरी बिहाइंड द क्लोराइड एक्सपेरिमेंट एज वेल एज आई हेव डिस्कस विथ यू दैट इज वॉट इज द इम्पॉर्टन्स और वॉट इज द सिग्निफिकन्स ऑफ द एक्सपेरिमेंट एंड हाउ टू चेक द क्वालिटी ऑफ द वॉटर वेन क्लोराइड्स आर प्रेजेंट वॉट हार्म इट विल गोइंग टू कॉज द वॉटर एज वेल एज वेरियस वॉटर सप्लाई स्ट्रक्चर अलॉन्ग विथ दैट वन प्रैक्टिकल एग्जाम्पल आई हेव गिवन टू यू and that is of site example if suppose you are you want to make a concrete by using the site water and if that site water is polluted means high amount of chloride content is present in that water then what will going to happen due to the high amount of chlorine content that is <coughs> present in the water water uh, what will going to happen uh, still reinforcement will going to corrode if your structure is the rcc structure and that precaution you have to take hence that is nothing but the very much important experiment previously not it is introduced in the syllabus of water supply but now they have introduced this important type of the experiment uh, in your corresponding water supply engineering or environmental engineering one let us see uh, what are the reagents which are required to perform this test and let us see what is the procedure that we will going to see with the help of one demo or one demonstration video i will will uh, be sharing with you before that uh, demonstration we will see or we will discuss what are the reagents required as the title of the experiment i have written that is nothing but we have to determine the chloride content which is present in the water and what are the sources uh, from which sources the chloride content is added to the water all the part i have discussed i will just discuss about the reagents and about the procedure which you should use in order to perform the chloride present in the water particularly talking about the reagents three reagents i have written here out of that sorry two reagents i have written here out of that one is nothing but the potassium chromate one is indicator and that is nothing but the titrant titrant is nothing but the uh, volume of the chemical that you are going to place in the burette Uh, in that burette the reading we are going to use or take it finally and that burette reading we are going to use it for the final calculation part uh, that in that burette you are going to use the titrant as silver nitrate that is agno3 and its normality solution we have prepared is of 0.0141 normal and another name of this method as i have discussed with you it is known as the mohr's method of titration it is nothing but name of the scientist who has invented this process or it is also known as the organometric titration why because ag or silver is involved in this process and silver nitrate is acting as a titrant in this corresponding process and first thing i have written here potassium chromate indicator solution and indicator is nothing but what is the purpose of using indicator it is nothing but change point is observed when color change is occurred and that change point or color change is occurred that is nothing but in this case suppose chloride content is present in the water and change of color what is the change of color that we will going to see and change of color is going to occur means what all the chloride ions present in the water that ion are detected by what that ions are detected by the silver nitrates tumcha solution madhe jevde chloride ion hote te sagla chloride ion shi kon react zalela hai tumcha burette madla silver nitrate ani tyanantar end point alyanantar tumhi kithi add kele tari tyaja madhe color change ajun honar nahi hai okay but that occurs in presence of indicator which is must similarly we were talking about the previous experiment i had forgot end point you are going to observe and you have observed end point for the second stage of titration and that end point when it is observed when all the alkalinity present in the sample when all the alkalinity present in the sample is detected by what is de it is detected by the corresponding burette which we have seen and burette madhe ka hota h2so4 ani sagla alkaline material kiwa alkalinity jevdi hai tyachashi kon react hon raha hai tar titrant react hona raha hai ani to titrant कुछ प्रेजेंस मे रिएक्ट हो रहा है तो टाइट्रन इंडिकेटर प्रेजेंस मे रिएक्ट हो रहा है सभी अल्कलिटी ज्यादा डिटेक्ट होते हैं तो कलर चेंज ऑब्जर्व होता है तुम्हें फर्दर कि ऐडिशन कर टाइट्रन की तरी कलर चेंज हो रहा नहीं कारण की ऐक्चुअली वैनिश जार सगे अल्कलाइन मटेरि फर्दर रिएक्शन विल नॉट टेक्स प्लेस सीमिलर केस इज विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू द corresponding this experiment that is nothing but the chloride content this one thing just i have told you i have forgot to told you in the experiment which i have recorded previously that is nothing but the alkalinity now we will see 
what is the procedure of this corresponding test what is the procedure of this corresponding test i have written here the procedure of this test is nothing but take 100 ml of sample in a flask we will going to use the conical flask and we will going to keep a sample or we will going to take a sample but in this case we have to take a 100 ml of the sample in a conical flask then second step is nothing but add few, few drops of potassium chromate indicator so that the solution turns yellow in this corresponding sample which you have prepared and the sample which you have kept in the flask in that flask you have to add few drops of the indicator which will going to uh, give us the color change or particularly the end points that is nothing but the purpose of the addition of the indicator that we will going to get and add few drops of potassium chromate indicator so that the solution turns yellow okay after adding two drops of this or three or four drops of this potassium chromate indicator the solution turns yellow when the solution turns yellow there is an indication that there is a presence of chloride content in the water or in the waste water motor may be the sample then step number three is nothing but titrate against 0.0141 normal solution and kasha si titrate kare chai 0.0141 normal solution is nothing but our corresponding silver nitrate or AgNO3 with respect to that silver nitrate solution we have to do the titration and end point is recorded when solution or color of the solution turns brick red now you have understood what is the end point of this corresponding titration first after adding few drops of phenol sorry few drops of the potassium chromate indicator solution turns yellow when solution turns yellow it is an indication that it is an indication that your corresponding your corresponding solution contains 100% chloride and when solution contains the chloride content it turns yellow after the addition of potassium chromate then we have to titrate it against the 0.0141 normal solution which we have kept it in the burette and we have filled the burette with that corresponding titran and in this case for particular this experiment titran is nothing but the silver nitrate titran that we are going to fill in the corresponding burette and after that end point is reached when color of solution turns brick red means end point now we have got what is the end point at the addition of potassium chromate indicator solution turns yellow and yellow to brick red is nothing but the end point of the titration another one stage occurs that uh, yellow color is first developed then white yellow color is developed but that is for a very small instant generally it is not observed but this is nothing but the standard thing which will going to occur and after uh, adding further more type of the titrant in the sample and in which we have added the indicator color of, of occurs that is that color is nothing but the brick red color and when brick red color occur we have to stop the titration and this is nothing but the corresponding end point of the titration we have to note down the reading from the burette at which we have to stop the titration and we have to note down the reading from the burette at which we have obtained the corresponding end point and that end point is nothing but the final uh, stage of your corresponding experiment in that end point ala manjis kai zale and tumcha ya particularly ya experiment baddal bolaycha zale tar chloride ion jevde hote tya sagle chloride ion chi tumcha kon react zale titrant react zale kunacha presence madhe potassium chromate ya indicator cha presence madhe further add kele trial brick red remains as it is color further will not going to change because your titrant has detected all the chloride ions which are present in the corresponding sample or 100 ml volume of the sample this is nothing but the end point and final is nothing but note down the readings of the titrant that is AgNO3 in ml that is nothing but the final step that we have to note down the final reading and we have to do the further calculation now let us see we will see one demonstration video and after demonstration video we will take the reading of end point of this corresponding experiment and we will take uh, i will show you one chart or what are the calculation involved in order to estimate how to estimate the chloride content what is the formula but before that we will see before that we will see the actual demonstration of this corresponding experiment via the different reagents which we have discussed and the different step or procedure just i have discussed with 
Q and that we will going to see and one thing I want to share you that uh, one thing I want to share you just a minute one thing I want to share you that uh, the end point uh, suppose this is nothing but the end point which is observed and that yellow point first it is observed yellow point first is it is observed then after yellow point a combination of combination of this yellow plus white when this type of the combination is formed then AgCl ions are formed in your corresponding solution that is silver chloride ions are formed at this stage when the color is white plus yellow that is mixed in nature is color okay then if the color changes into brick red that is nothing but I am not having the brick red color if the color changes into the brick red, brick red like color develops and that stage Ag to CrO4 that is nothing but it is known as the silver chromate solution is formed in this case silver chloride is formed but at the final stage silver chromate is formed and at this stage all the chlorine ions or chloride ions are vanish this is nothing but the end point or end stage of this corresponding titration that i want to discuss with you let us see one demonstration video of this corresponding experiment thank you for attending this corresponding procedure of this experiment determination of chloride content present in the water let us see the demonstration of this corresponding experiment